Hi, this is the third video of driving theory test for car driver. When you're ready, let's get started. The first question, you are about to drive home. What you should do if you feel very tired and have a severe headache. First choice that they give it to you is drive home. So when you're not well, you shouldn't drive. You take this one away. The second one, wait until you are fit. This is looking good. You wait until you feel better before driving. This is a nice one. The third one said drive home. Again, you're still headache, you're still not well, shouldn't drive. We take this one away. The last one, wait for a short time. Looking good, wait for a short time. You have to wait a bit, then drive home slowly. It didn't mention anything about you feel better before you're driving, so this is not good enough as well. The answer is, wait until you're fit and well before driving second the fluid level in your battery is low what fluid should you use to top it up the answer these two water do not get confused with the battery acid you don't want to put the acid in your car battery third at traffic light what does it mean when the amber light shows on its own so the sequence of the traffic light you need to know after the amber light on its own it will be red so the amber light on its own still mean stop at the stop line that's the answer not preparing to go because after the amber it will be red so make sure that you remember all the sequence of the traffic light uh, let me remind you then. Let's start with red. After red will be red and amber. So it means still stop. These ones you can prepare. After red and amber will be green. So you can go. After green, it will go amber on its own. And the last one is stop. So they will go back to the loop again. So make sure that you remember all of this. Next question, question four. You are leaving your vehicle parked on a road. So you're leaving. And you're parked on the road and unattended. When may you leave the engine running? You're leaving the car unattended. No one in the car. You shouldn't leave the engine running at all. What you have to do is just like kind of switch off the car engine, lock the door, and then that's it. You do whatever you have to do. So they ask you about when may you leave the engine running. Never. You don't want to leave the engine running while you're away. So the answer is never if you are away from the vehicle. Nothing else. Okay, the question five said there has been a collision. A uh, motorcyclist is lying injured and unconscious. Why? Shouldn't you only remove their helmet if it's essential? The first one said remove it, couldn't let them get cold. Mm. Some answer you can just like kind of easily delete it, like this first one. The second one, you couldn't scratch the helmet as you remove it. Again, this easily, take it away. They might not want you to remove it. Mm. The last one, remove it, could make any injuries worse. Of course, if you try to remove the helmet off, it can be more dangerous. Unless you see that person cannot breathe and you, and you have to help him with the CPR or something like that. So that is very essential. So if you feel like kind of it's not essential to remove it, leave it on. Leave it like that. Okay? Number six, at an incident, how could you help a curiosity who has stopped breathing? The first one said, try to give them something to drink. Never ever, so we cut this one away. Keep their head tilted forward as far as possible. So this person stop breathing. If you just tilt the head forward as far as possible, you think this will help? It's not helping. The 
third one follow the DRABC code for people who have no idea what does this mean you're just like mm, not really sure about this one but I know the first one not the second one I don't think so let's look at the last one raise their legs to help with circulation so put leg up uh, to help the circulation this it probably can stop bleeding not breathing you have no option use the idea of cutting the choices the, the one you sure that's not the correct answer okay so let's have a look what is the uh, ABC code stand for for full detail of this section you can find from the highway code annex 7 it's about the first aid on the road so D is danger first you need to check that you are not in danger and then try to get a response from the calcity by gently checking the calcity shoulders that's R response so you check the calcity response if there's no response you check the airway so that's A if the calcity is responsive and breathing by themselves you will check C which is circulation or any sign of bleeding so that what the uh, ABC code stand for the answer for this question is follow the DR ABC code number seven what does it mean if you see this signal on the motorway so this sign here when it's show on the motorway it means leave the motorway at the next exit do not confuse with the kind of similar to the left turn one is maybe it's the bend or turn left thing like that so do not confuse with this leave the motorway at the next exit number eight you have stopped it at the pelican crossing what should you do if a disabled person is crossing slowly in front of you and the light changed to green so the traffic light had changed to green already but the person still crossing in the middle of the road it's very simple what you have to do is wait for them to finish crossing some question is very easy you just need to use your common sense and don't think too much number nine what color are the refractive studs along the left hand edge of the motorway so this is on the left hand of the road color is red you need to know them all here as well you need to know where is the green stud is where the white one where the amber one in this picture you will see that the red stud is on the left hand side of the road the amber is divided between the road and the central island the white color is dividing the lane so this motorway have three lanes so they have one lane one lane two lane three the green one will be between the road and the slip road so you will see it before the exit or the entrance when you join the motorway so try to remember them all number 10 the last question for this video you arrive at the scene of a motorcycle crash no other vehicle is involved the rider is unconscious and lying in the middle of the road what's the first thing you should do at the scene the first thing that you have to do is warn other traffic i'm sure you will not choose clear the road of debris the second one said give the rider reassurance so it means you have to get off the car and reassure the city you might put yourself in danger if you're not one other traffic first the last one move the rider out of the road again you're on the road you're in the middle of the road you're still in danger first thing you have to do is warn other traffic you can do that by simply place the hazard warning light in your car before you help other people make sure that you're safe not put yourself in danger and that's all for this video i hope this video will help you to understand your theory and make it easy for you to pass the test now i'm signing off i'll see you again next time bye